Skip over one there. Uh, it's that time again. So $150 challenge seasons upon us. And the great thing about this challenge is you can do it at home. You can do it quarantined. You can go to an open field, test. Buy your stuff online, have it shipped to you, go test, enter our contest. <laughs> Dominate. But <clears throat> uh, I'll leave a link to the group so you can go in there and get all the rules. But the basics is spend $150 on brand new priced things, not used. So you can't have your friend say, yeah, I got a, I got a ZV-5, I'll sell you for 50 bucks. And then, you know, run with that. It's got to be brand new, you know, Amazon, Ebay's uh such and such no fly by night jet.com or wish.com prices but while i'm showing this rockville stepped up the uh so we introduced a new class into the 150 fifty dollar challenge it's equipment normally the 150 fifty dollar challenge is you scour the internet's for as much things as you can find for the lowest price you can find to get a screenshot within the rules. So the biggest part of it is finding equipment that fits into $150 for subs and an amp. Well, now we introduced a new class, which is equipment specific, meaning you can only use the, the, the designated equipment to run this class. And one of the packages is, is Rockville. They have a package on their website that's $199, but they stepped up and sent us a coupon code, which gets you this package right here hey, for $149.95. Now shipping doesn't count into the total price of any item. So I forget if it was shipped or not, I don't know. But either way, I bought it $150 for a Rockville, 12 inch K6 dual four and a Rockville DB 13 amp. And I'll go ahead and open the, uh... and here we go. We have the goods. Um, I'm sure everybody knows now they have seen the K6, uh, 600 watt version of Rockville's entry level subs. I honestly like this sub. I know they, you know, they get a little bad rap for some of the, <laughs> The videos they put out and whatnot showing RMS and all the whole finagling about our yeah, CEA rating and all that. This sub is decent. This sub is really for the price. I think it's I think it's regular. Like it's like sixty nine, seventy dollars shipped. I think it's pretty it's pretty hard to beat. It's really really good. I I, I use it a couple times. If you want to check some of my other videos out and it takes a ton of power. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing, you know, like taking power versus getting loud or sounding good. I've never really used it daily, but I'll try it out. But this is what I'm gonna use, one 12 inch K6, and then here's their amp. The DB series Rockville DB13. It looks pretty stout. It looks pretty uh, big, you know, and it comes with some kind of amplification uh, amplifier production certified wattage looks like it's 750 watts at one channel at two ohms and 450 at four ohms true spec bro but you know it comes with all the standard stuff got your bass knob <clears throat> got your mounting screws and allen head uh, terminal so we're gonna give it a rip I'm gonna go through this whole process. I usually suck. I usually do unboxing videos and then I just throw it in the car and forget about making more videos. But I'm gonna go through the whole process of installing this, installing this in the car, showing you me setting the gains and I ain't using the game. Fucking turn the video to the stop gaining. Literally, that's what my gain is. Stop gaining on the meter. It's when the gain stops the turning. But I'm gonna go through the whole process and show this install, this install. And just keep going through the whole process of competing in the $150 challenge. So make sure you subscribe, like the video. Nah, don't like the video. If you like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, don't like it. I don't care. 3,000 watt peak.
See y'all later.